All right, everybody, so if you're only downloading the 1.6 patch, um, you're gonna download and extract it. There's a readme, open it, take a look at it. Uh, it'll also share what we did uh, to this patch, as well as some instructions on uh, what to follow when you're gonna be applying it. So you are gonna wanna open up your main directory. Uh, so if you already have 1.5, just go ahead and open up your main emulator directory. And then if you already have the GME utility installed, that's cool. Uh, you can ignore the JSGME one, and you can copy the other four just copy in here and then replace when um, when ready. If you don't have GME set up, you can just open this folder. You can copy that exe right into your main directory. Launch it once. Uh, default to mods, that's, that's perfect. Say OK. It'll open. We can close it. Um, I recommend creating a shortcut on your desktop just to make life easier when you're ready to get there. Looks like I already have one. Delete that. OK. And now you can copy all these folders. Uh, right into your main emulator directory and just uh, replace or overwrite when prompted. Okay, so now as far as the patch being applied, you're done um, at this point. Something I did want to look at though is with memory cards. So what, um, what we did is we included these NFL 22 high and low. Um, and if you look at the, the roster page over here that we have, um, I included all of these uh, roster files, um, so I figured it would be just kind of cool to have. And you can use MyMC if you wanted to just mess around and pull them, but let me go ahead and load this up real quick. Uh, in configuration, if you go to memory cards, um, and you, if you're using the defaults, you'll probably have these loaded. You'll see they'll be grayed out. You can just click on it, say insert. I like to put the high in slot 1 uh, and the lower ratings or the massage ones in slot 2. So I'm going to change mine, say OK. Let's fire this up. So once we're in here, if you just go to Options, uh, go to Load, Save, we're going to Load, say Yes. And then Slot 1 we know has all the high ratings. So in here it's all the current ones for the project. Um, just keep in mind that the Week 1 ratings that Kuju and Maddie, uh, and everyone spent a lot of time on, and we appreciate that, is really going to be the best experience as far as portraits go. Um, but all the rest of the roster files, going through them, I did um, extract and apply all of those edits to all the roster files. But these are all the normal ones. So when we do the auto port over, um, you know, generally the ratings are high. So if you go to the slot two card, which is our low ratings, um, I recently tried my hand at the week eight and I did a low ratings, which actually play really well. Um, so this is going to include also the fixed franchise file um, that DJ Stevo uh, did for us. So the season schedule will be. Um, will be good in this file as well. So it's really up to you what you want to play, but this is for the memory cards. I figure we would include that just so that everyone has it, and you can use it if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that's going to do it for the, um, for the patch. So we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next one. All right, so let's take a look at the full install. So if you're downloading this mod for the first time, welcome. Um, you're going to download the full package, either Xbox or PlayStation controllers. For now, we're still going to support it that way. Um, you're going to extract it. You're going to have all these folders in here. Um, the ones that we're concerned with are going to be the ISO uh, and the emulator directory itself here. Something of note is that you're going to have to, the only things you need to bring to this party um, is you're going to have to have your own game disk ISO. We can't provide that, as well as the um, PlayStation 2 BIOS. You're going to have to provide that yourself due to licensing restrictions around those. Um, but again, um, you know, Use Google, uh, go to PCSX2 forums. There's a lot of information out there on how you can dump your own BIOS and how you can, you know, use ImageBurn or other uh, other solutions like that to uh, to dump your game disk. So that those two items are on you. I didn't mean to do that, uh, but let's get started here. So when you download this, the PCSX2 underscore this folder here is the one six stable um, emulator build. It's just tweaked for what we're doing here. So you're going to copy and move this directory. Um, somewhere you want it to live. So in this case, I did a 2K, 2K5 demo folder. I put it in here. So here is my um, directory. So now, um, since you're starting fresh, what we, we're going to do is we're going to look at the JSGME folder here, which includes um, the utility. So we're going to copy or move this into this main directory. I'm going to copy it. You're going to launch it. It's going to prompt you. We're going to say yes to default to that directory. It's going to create it and open it. We're just going to close that for now. Um, I recommend creating a shortcut to your desktop, put that here, and then same thing as well. So you're going to launch the PCSX2 EXE from within here, same thing, just create a shortcut on your desktop. Um, I already have this one path for 2K5 demo, uh, so that's set there. Let's go up a folder, 
Um, take a look at the mods directory here. You, you can either look in here if you want to. There's, it's going to be empty. Um, but now this mods directory, you can just copy this entire directory into your main directory. And when we look in there, now you'll see you'll have all the core mods, um, fonts, um, and some splash screens. So a lot of stuff in here, the Super Bowl one. Um, so it, now if you launch the GME utility, you're going to see that you have all of these that you can activate if you want to. Um, it's really up to you. I'm going to close that for now. Let's just launch the emulator and we're going to take a look at settings. All this should be defaulted for you. You can tweak it if you're savvy and comfortable with it. Uh, memory cards, we're including you um, we're including the high and low at 2022 NFL 22. So this is going to have all of the current rosters uh, with a lot of the um, a lot of the work that Kuja Maddie and others in the community have done with the roster work there. So let's take a look next. Plug in BIOS. Uh, once you add your information, just kind of skim through here and make sure that you set uh, what you want. Make sure your folders uh, look like uh, where they should be as to where you put your folder. Right, let's keep going. Uh, Video GS plugin settings. When you get to this, this is going to be default hardware. You're going to want to set it to whatever your graphics card is. Um, and the rest you can tweak as you want to if you're comfortable with it. Otherwise, I would say leave it as is. We'll say okay there. Audio, you can look at this. Uh, controllers, this is one good thing too. You can come in here if you're having trouble or you just want to remap to make sure that your controller is set the way you want it to. You can come in here and map it. Um, a little heads up if you're going to play with your buddies uh, using Parsec to do some head to head. Once you connect with them, do a screen, you know, share the controls. Open up the pad too and then let them map their buttons for their controllers they want to and then you'll be good to go there. So, okay, that. So now we're going to do the. Um, uh, the virtual disk. So we're going to go to Dev9, plugin settings, right? This is going to pop up for us. We're going to say, check the enable, click options. I highly recommend you browse to where you want your game disk or where you want that um, virtual disk to live. I'm going to go into the address bar here and just copy that location. I'm going to say browse. There we go, paste. I'm going to say open. There we go. So now it's going to go into this directory, which is inside the emulator. Um, it has to be 40 gigs, say apply, all right, and let this go. It should only take maybe a minute or two. Um, unfortunately for anyone, you know, playing with like a smoke tint CRT and a spin disc, this could take forever and a day, so you're probably going to want to grab a Snickers, uh, but I highly doubt that's the case for anybody today's day and age. Um, you're either running SSD <clears throat> or like an M2 uh, storage. So let this finish, um, and then we'll go through and we'll format it. All right, cool. So it created it. I'm going to look in the directory just to make sure and confirm. I can see it did create it here, so we're good. Say apply. All right, now we want to format that. So um, included also is um, the ULE ISO. So you're going to want to extract this zip file and just move that wherever you want to. I keep it in my own directory for ISOs. So you're going to come into the CDI selector here, and you're going to want to make sure you select that ULE 438, uh, make it the active one. And when you boot, make sure you boot fast, otherwise it'll be weird. Um, so just boot fast. And then with your controller, um, press circle, go to miscellaneous, press circle, go down to HDD manager, press, uh, press circle again. Okay, so R1 on the pad, it'll bring this up, go to format, uh, say okay, so just circle again to confirm. And then this should go through and format the disk. If you go through this and you try that and it doesn't do anything, um, just close the emulator, relaunch it, re, um, relaunch the fast boot, come back, navigate in here, and reformat, and it should work for you. At this point, there's nothing else to do. I mean, we can exit out if we want to, but I'm just going to shut down. Uh, so next, I'm going to switch over to the game disk, and then I'm going to do a full boot. I just had to turn it down as I couldn't hear myself. So. This is actually really cool that this happened. It loaded, the font textures aren't showing. Like, oh no, what do I do, right? Um, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, what you'll wanna do, and actually, uh, we're gonna go into configure, video GS settings, plugin settings. Uh, we're gonna unselect that, click okay. Come back in here again. And then we're gonna re-enable it and say okay. And then there's our textures. I don't know why, but it happens sometimes. It's really not that big of a deal. As you can see, we just, disabled and re-enabled it from the plugin settings. Um, so now here we are, we have the game loaded. Uh, if we come into options, 
whatever memory cards that you have loaded, uh, which it should default to the NFL 22 high and low. Um, you can see there's the virtual hard disk here. Um, we'll go over to slot two, which I put the low card in, uh, which this is really just the massage rating. So whenever we convert Madden ratings, it's always bloated. There's like really high overalls. Uh, so Kudra, Matty, the Fly Boys, really a lot of the roster um, bigwigs in the community have helped uh, to where we can create these roster files now and kind of give them a little bit more um, massage feel to the to the ratings without sacrificing any of the manual stuff. So it's really cool. The Week 8 ones are the first ones I did. All the roster files and stuff that I put out will include all of the edits um, from Kujo, Maddie and others for, for this uh, project. But the staple roster file for this to use really um, is going to be the Week 1. Um, and with that, it has the franchise file, the roster file, both high and low. Um, something really cool and a big uh, thank you to DJ Stevo was that he was able to correct uh, the franchise file for us, so there's no longer multiple bye weeks, at least there shouldn't be. Um, so that's included in the file. There's going to be some more rosters coming out at some point. Um, but right now at this point, the game's ready. Um, you can load your roster file, have fun playing. Um, there's just a few more things we want to cover, but that's it for setup. So for using the GME utility, there's quite a few things packaged out there. If you come over to the main site, there's going to be a link in here. If you go to the GME mod packages, uh, take a look at what we have today. All this is based around the um, the current emulator build that we're using, which is a stable 1.6 with Topaz TK's plugin. Uh, so a lot of thanks for him creating that. Um, but here you can grab what you want, download it. You're gonna there's instructions. Just follow it, add it. But when you want to use those mods, um, you just go ahead and launch your GME tool, and then whatever you have added. Um, you can activate. Whatever you activate will obviously apply in game. Um, so here, let's just grab a screensaver. Let's let's take uh, Debo, put him in there. We're going to activate that. Come to come to this uh, window. Make sure it's active. The active window. Hit F10. It's going to turn off the plugin. Hit hit F10 one more time. It's going to activate it. And that's how you can kind of cycle refresh. Um, but you can see a lot of really cool artwork. A lot of really cool stuff with splash screens and other ideas coming up and. Uh, just really cool time. Uh, everyone seems to be excited, contributing, and um, um, this will be the last release for the stable uh, 1.6 emulator build uh, with the existing plugin, um, and that's largely in part because, um, which is some really exciting news, but uh, the PCSX2 development community will natively be supporting um, texture pl placement moving forward, which is awesome because this not only means that we get uh, a little bit more flexibility and some more added benefits with um, some things that were called out early from the team where um, shadows look really crisp um, and nice and then also fonts we won't have to use a workaround to use um, fonts for jersey fonts and things like that so it's really cool it's a huge announcement uh, it's a part of the pull request uh, here for texture dumping and replacement 5547 um, so yeah, this will be the last release for the stable build, um, but I can tell you that um, everyone on the team is excited. There's a lot of work going on, a lot of ideas, pulled in a few more people. Um, huge credits to really everyone who's been helping with this because there's so much stuff going on. It's really cool, really exciting. Again, it's a really great time to be um, in the 2K5 community because we have such a diverse group working on things. Um, and of course, I want to really just say thank you not only to the few folks who were there early last March when I kind of started this journey and really didn't know where it was going to end up. Um, you know, Zevin jumped on, uh, Flame of Hope, really big contributors. We picked up Orleans 02. He did a lot of our sports desk uh, refresh. Awesome, by the way. Uh, Bad Al, he's a legend in the community for his, his 2K5 tool um, and rosters. And just we have such a good group of dudes working on this. It's just amazing. Um, Cujo Matty, I mean, we have some really huge rock stars when it comes to um, photo editing, Photoshop, paint on that, and just creativity, ideas, and it's just really cool um, to have everybody. And then also, um, <laughs> reinstated or off of, back from sabbatical is uh, UXG. And he already made huge impact for the community to bridge the gap with the RetroArch uh, 2K for the Xbox Series X and S consoles. So uh, MS Suites, Rick Heavy, Magic uh, Mahomes Magic, BT Zero, Dr. Hot Wing, um, everyone's listed. And there's probably more names I don't have here, but really it's a huge thank you. I love working with everybody, love the ideas. It's really cool and exciting to see what we continue to create. Um, and it's just fun, right? And anything that's fun, we'll, you know, you continue to do. So 
We're looking forward to the 1.7 when that gets released. Uh, there's a lot of work in progress for that. Uh, but we did want to put out this 1.6 as like a final release for the um, 1.6 emulator. We hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, make sure you check out the commanders. Kujo and Maddie put those together. And um, yeah, just have fun playing. Hopefully everyone jumps into it over the weekend, has a good time. And um, you know, we'll catch up on, on a future release and maybe have another progress or maybe a little status. I highly recommend joining the Discord community because there's a lot of a lot of chat that goes on in there that you might not pick up in the videos. But um, yeah, really big thank you to the entire team. Huge thank you to the community uh, for everyone's support. Continue sharing those ideas. Um, and really, just have fun playing 2K5 again. So thank you, everybody. Have fun. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one.